Hi everyone, guess what? I finally have my Mavic Pro. I guess it's too late, especially if you are one of the influencer videos out there who has been spreading tons of videos about Mavic Pro for nearly six months. Well, I wanted to wait and get that product when it has become mature, and I think I've made a good decision. But even though there are so many videos out there about the Mavic Pro, there are tons and tons that give you good things and tons and tons that give you bad things, but I'll give you the reality check here. Mavic Pro is a product by DJI, of course, and this is the first product that I have owned from DJI. I have never owned any of the Phantom um, of the Phantom drones in the past, so I cannot really relate to a history of this product, but I will tell you being a new adopter for the latest uh, drone, which is the Mavic Pro. Obviously there's a new one coming up, the Spark, but Let's just focus on this one because this is mature at least. This is at a level of maturity that we can talk about. Now, Mavic uh, seems to have something, and I cannot generalize this to all of the DJI products, but there's something about it. And when I googled that term, it turned out to be called tight tolerance. It's an engineering term, and it guarantees precise... Um, development and precise engineering of of everything around that product from the mechanical part of it to the electronics to the way things fit together it's supposedly an advantage but somehow in the world of DJI especially with the Mavic Pro I experienced a lot of annoyance and I think most likely other users might have gone through the exact same thing seems like a lot of the things around DJI Mavic Pro are extremely tight and precise, and if you don't get it to work, it could be a little bit annoying. I'll tell you, giving an example, uh, the remote control, the first time I tried to unfold the antennas, I had a hard time doing that, and it almost felt as if it was going to break. And same thing with opening certain uh, peripherals, uh, let's say opening um, to... Uh, even insert the uh, micro SD card. I had a major problem with the micro SD card, and that's going to be the topic of another video just following this one. I'm going to talk about how I have purchased uh, the latest and the greatest micro SD card, and I just put it in the Mavic Pro, and guess what? It got stuck. And then when I googled online, turned out a lot of users got exactly into the same problem turned out that there isn't enough space for the micro SD cards that are slightly um, slightly wider and slightly more um, uh, slightly has a little bit more depth to them and you'd be surprised you would think that all the micro SD cards should have exactly the same dimensions but turned out like even a fraction of a fraction of a dimension could make a lot of difference in the world of DJI Mavic Pro because that particular micro SD card got stuck and I had to go through a lot of things to fix it. If you're experiencing that issue, I'll have a link to that video in particular to show you how you can fix it. The other challenge I had was in the bag that came with the Fly Combo. The bag that is supposedly engineered to fit the Mavic Pro and its accessories perfectly. Here's what happened. I decided to put the drone in a way to protect the camera and the gimbal. I decided to put the drone like this. And notice how it has legs, but when you don't know, you try to push it in thinking it should fit. And guess what? The whole drone would get stuck and it will be really hard for you to take it out you will almost feel like you're breaking the drone while taking it out. So that's another mistake. Try to avoid it. It took me some time. Actually, there's no indicators of how to put it, but you're supposed to actually 
drop it like this with the camera and the lens facing down. And if you do, then guess what? It slides in easily and then you can later hold it from here and pull it out. Simple. Well, overall, I'm not very happy about the, the bag itself because I feel that even trying to put uh, the, the remote inside of the other compartment is a challenge and you might actually uh, break um, the joysticks. So, I decided to buy a whole new bag. <clears throat> a slightly better bag in my opinion. Unfortunately, I use this bag now for other stuff, um, but not for the Mavic Pro. And I will have another video about a bag that I found online that actually works much better and uh, you can arrange all of your accessories and the drone in a nice way while being separated and also protected. Well, today's video is just an introduction to the Mavic Pro in terms of what challenges you might face first time when you buy it. And obviously, moving forward, we'll try to keep things positive and I'll try to give you um, different videos about how to operate the Mavic Pro and also real life challenges and how can you move in using this great uh, drone. In my opinion, it's, uh, it's really nice. Uh, unfortunately, there are laws coming up now from um, every side, every country is having their own uh, regulations around uh, the usage of drones. So before it becomes really uh, difficult to fly a drone, I advise you to get one and try it out and see what kind of photography or videography can come out from it. It's a great uh, creative uh, tool, so use it uh, wisely and use it uh, with caution as well. Don't do crazy things. Don't fly it over people or over a highway. Always abide by the rules and regulations set by your country or state. And until a new video about drones and new technology, take care and don't forget, like this video if you did, and if not, subscribe. Why not? Maybe next video will be nicer. Until a new video with me, Danny, take care.